everybody and welcome back to my channel it's me zoe and in today's video i'm gonna be doing a um my thoughts and some reviews on the um, bath and body works like tropical collection that they came out with so yeah there's quite a few things to talk about so let's go ahead and get started so i have a few of them and a few of them i don't have a few of them i won't be getting um so yeah we're gonna start off with the i don't know the forerunner of the tropical collection that would be the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I only have this in the mini, but I have the notes I'm pulled up on my iPad right here. So it says the notes are Sweet Pink Pineapple, Palm Sugar, and Sun Drench Nectar. So when I smell this, you definitely get that like sweet, maybe like agave nectar kind of scent from agave papaya sunset. That kind of like agave nectar scent. You also definitely get that like tart, fresh pineapple so if you're really into pineapple scents, I'd recommend this. Um, they are doing a buy one, get one free on this collection today when I'm filming this, which is Thursday, um, March 10th, I think. But um, yeah, I'm relatively sure this will probably be at some annual sale, um, unless it also sells out and they don't have any. But yeah, I definitely really do think this is a... A scent worth picking up and it is really pretty definitely a tart fruity fragrance lovers dream fragrance for a summer scent so yeah okay so they also have so many facet collection scents but they are not in the facet collection packaging so the first one I have is Bahamas Patch Fruit Banana Flower this is from 2019 or 2018 I think it's 2019 um, collection. They currently have um, it out in like this fast food packaging. So yeah. Um, but the notes on this one are passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. And I can confirm those are the notes I, um, from this fragrance because I used to have the other products of it without notes on it. But yeah, I have this scent and it is one of my favorite summer scents. And I feel like it's definitely changed a little bit. Not the notes, but just the longevity and the like performance so yeah when I smell this I definitely smell that pineapple I don't really smell a super green note there's maybe a hint of like a leaf note but really not that much and I've always smelled sorry I've always smelled like a banana note even though most people are like there's no banana in this I definitely smell not a banana leaf but more like a banana note so yeah, it's more like a pineapple and banana scent it is a very juicy scent definitely a more sophisticated take on a summer scent i really do suggest this but um please you can wait for some annual sale because that's really not even the middle of summer so it's like you have most of summer left so yeah that is bahamas passion fruit and banana flower okay so let's get to the next one okay the next one i have to talk about is this and this is Waikiki Beach Coconut. So I used to have this scent and I've had a few items in this. I've had I think two mini fine fur and smiths and maybe a pocket bag and I really don't like this scent. The notes in this one are tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. The coconut in this is just and I like coconut scents. Like coconut's not a scent that I don't like. I mean it's it's something I like. It's not a scent I love, but like I really don't like this scent. It is so headache inducing and I do not get headaches from scents. I get headaches from other things, but I do not get headaches from scents um, typically. And But this scent is so headache inducing. It is so strong. If you really want a strong scent, this is the one to get, but it's so strong and it's definitely very, very artificial. It does not smell sophisticated. You think with the, the wood scent and the breezy scent, it would have smelled more fresh and sophisticated, but no, this is like a plasticky coconut scent I really don't like it some people really like it and that's fine but in my opinion it is like the worst coconut scent ever to be created it's just plasticky fake and really really headache inducing see so yeah, I do not suggest that one um but I mean if you like it obviously smell it for yourselves so yeah the next thing I have to talk about is salt water breeze this is salt water breeze um this is the 2021 version I'm trying to get to so I want to breathe there. Okay. Yeah, so this is the 2021 version. And um, I have this in the Moisturizing Body Wash as well as the Body Lotion. 
Um, and right here, it says the notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. And that is the same as the previous versions. Um, I have not taken the time to um, smell Saltwater Breeze like thoroughly in the store. So this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I don't really like the packaging at all. Um, honestly, for these collections, the packaging was really lacking. I was hoping they would have gone all out like the packaging because it's just really not it this year. But um, I really do enjoy this scent. It is very beautiful. Um, yeah, it's super fresh, clean, I guess. But it's also sophisticated in like a in a fresh, clean, perfumey kind of way. Probably because of that musk. Um, and this bottle is really leaky, if you can see, but that's okay. Um, but I really do enjoy using this scent, and pro tip, it does pair really well with Beth Mark's Fairy Tale. So if you want to pair those together, that is something you can do. So, okay, the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Honolulu Sun. And this is Honolulu Sun. It is an online exclusive, um, which I'm not happy about. Um, not because I like the scent, because I don't. Um, but because they need to stop with this stupid online online exclusive, but I guess they want us to pay the seven dollars in shipping. But you know, whatever. Um, the notes from this one are fresh island coconut, Pacific palm, and driftwood. So I've had this in a pocket back, Honolulu Sun, and even without the alcohol smell, this just really smelled. It really did not smell good. It was again one of those super fake, plasticky kind of sense and no I will not be picking this up especially since it's an online exclusive um I mean I might try it in store if they have it for some annual sale the outlet because they usually get the online exclusives for the outlet there but it is such a like fakey plasticky coconut scent again like Waikiki Beach coconut and it's again it's like one of those headache inducing plasticky fakey coconut scents so I do not recommend that one either <laughs> sorry but you know it is what it is so okay Next, we have Vanilla Coconut. This is Vanilla Coconut, and this is the mist version of that bar soap that's always in store. I don't know if they have a picture of it. And there's, a, we've had a soap in this scent. So I've had a soap in this scent. The notes are Witch, Vanilla, Peach Blossom, Warm Coconut. That is the same notes as the soap. Um, personally, oh, this is also an online exclusive. I would have not made a Vanilla Peach scent an online exclusive. One, because it's kind of... In, in a way, it's safe, but it's also not safe. Like, for some people, this would be a safe blind buy because there's, like, a whole bunch of vanilla scents that have different scents. Like, I think maybe um, Whipped Vanilla Chiffon has a peach scent as well, so it's kind of like, you like that, you might like this. But also, I think it's such a generic scent, because um, I've had it in the hand soap, that you really would have had to really promote it in stores for people to buy it because I don't even know what the reviews on this are. <laughs> it's, like, 3.5, so, yeah. Basically, I think Beth Myrick should have definitely put this one in stores um, because I think it was, it would have been safer to put it in stores and get more people to buy it by promoting it like that. But um, yes, I may get this because I do like the hand soap smell. It's just a soft, sweet, kind of like not wearing anything, but I want to smell like sweet. You know what I mean? Like it's like, a, in my opinion, the soap was more like a skin kind of scent. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's going to be one that most people are going to be trying. Um, just because it's really not like that special especially the soap scent but yeah um i probably won't be picking this up unless i find it in stores so yeah okay there's a few more to go next we have one that i'm excited about i have not smelled yet but i want to this is copper coconut sands um the notes in this one this is actually the best like looking packaging out of all of them i really like they definitely tried to go with that like neutrally brown trend which it looks pretty nice so this one is in store. Um, this is Sunkiss Coconut Soft Orchid Petals and Creamy Sandalwood. Um, I do think they did um, a good thing by putting this in store because it is one of those like, as what I'm reading, it is one of those kind of safe scents that you really don't have to promote like coconut, a vanilla -y coconut with orchid that's like with vanilla chiffon with something else and creamy sandalwood. A lot of people don't like sandalwood. A lot of people love sandalwood. There's kind of a this or that it's not really an in-between but I really do think I will pick this one up at some annual sale or with my rewards if I ever do make an online order because I'm not doing that right now but yeah so I definitely think this is one worth picking up uh, I have not smell it but based on the notes I do think it'll be better than picking up vanilla coconut okay 
Let's find the last one. Okay, the last one, I think, is um, Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. That's what the mist looks like. It's from the Facet Collection. So it's $17.50, not $16.50. But I also have it right here. Um, personally, I'm not sure which one I like better. Like, I wait, wrong way. I'm not sure which one I like better. Um, this one's more unique, but that one's kind of just modern, chromatic, and pretty. And the notes in this one are Sunkiss Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. So I do think those are different notes than previous years. And unfortunately, I do not have anything else in this, so in this collection to get the notes off of, but um, I'm pretty sure those are different notes. I don't think there was Jasmine or Orange. Um, or maybe, no, I think there was Orange, but I don't think there was Jasmine, so. It might be more floral now, I'm not sure. I'll have to go into stores and compare it with this one, but this is definitely like that orange juice, orange mango guava kind of juice scent. This is definitely kind of like a on the beach, you're in a boat, that kind of scent, like salty sea air, and it just smells like fruity deliciousness. That's this kind of scent. Uh, this is not my favorite scent, but I'm really not a fan of fruity scents, so for me to say it's pretty good is like pretty good. It's very good actually. I really do like the scent. It's definitely that like mango, nectar, guava juice kind of scent. It's very pretty. I do recommend that one. So yeah, I believe that is all for the these collections. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that is all for the new tropical collection. Obviously I'm not doing candles or anything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave me your comments down below what you think of the new collection and what you're getting and what you're not. So I'll see you later. Bye!